250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. Peace, family. I'm your sister with the curly braids, Vicki Dillard. So pleased to be a contributor here on the African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure you come in giving us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share, share, share this broadcast. We have an amazing message, and you help us uh, to push the message forward so that others are able to hear it. And for that, we thank you so much. We have an interesting story here, family. Now, before I read the story, I want you to recall what administration are we under here in these United States of America? I know we have a large international audience that listens to us, but what? Whose administration are we under? A democratic controlled one. The one that's supposed to be so pro citizens rights, pro uh, um, democracy, Talk black to me. Pro civil liberties. We're under a democratic administration run by Jim Crow, Joe Biden. And the thing we're talking about today from this piece I'm reading from Sam Levine in Los Angeles um, for The Guardian headline revealed LAPD officers told to collect social media data on every civilian they stop. It says an internal police chief memo shows employees were directed to use, quote, field interview cards, which would then be reviewed. The Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, has directed its officers to collect the social media information of every civilian they interview, including individuals who are not arrested or accused of a crime, according to records shared with The Guardian. I'm skipping down here because you're able to access this piece yourself. It goes on to say, copies of the field interview cards the police complete when they question civilians revealed that LAPD officers are instructed to record a civilian's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social media accounts alongside basic biolog biographical information. Family, this is disturbing. Are y'all hearing me? Now, the Biden administration is already being accused of running an authoritarian government because Joe Biden just told us at the press conference he's losing patience with us because of the Jews. Read through the lines, family. He's, he's saying, in other words, because you did not voluntarily take it, we're going to involuntary, involuntarily force you to take it. Some of us are saying that that's a breach of the Constitution and us having the sovereignty of our own bodies. They told you that Trump was terrible, which he is and was. We simply were trying to tell you that the Democrats are terrible as well, 
And that if you're going to vote for them, you should at least ensure there's a specific pro-black economic agenda before just giving your vote to them for nothing. Only slaves do something for nothing. And look where we are today. What are we going to do about this? Is the United States of America an authoritarian government? Can't wait to see you next time for the next war briefing. My name is Vicki Dillard. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vicki X Dillard. Be sure to subscribe to my personal YouTube channel at Vicki Dillard.tv. You can find it just under Vicki Dillard. I'm going to be building there and putting out more and more content in due course uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, but again, that's Vicki Dillard on YouTube or Vicki Dillard.tv. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you there. Join me on the 4th Annual Homecoming and Pilgrimage to Sierra Leone on December 28, 2021 through January 9, 2022. We will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports. For more details, check out our website, sierraleonepilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Home Lifestyle Vlogs. Because we all need an Africa escape plan. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.